Good day and thanks for joining us. I'm Antika Rasava reporting from the Greek capital and here's what's happening. A front team of international debt inspectors is back in Athens finishing up a review on reforms to fix the economy here. Officials are scrambling, trying to complete a list of tasks which they should have done so months ago. They are also trying to come up with some 500 million euros in cost-cutting measures which the government will have to implement in 2014 and this to fill a funding gap which inspectors actually claim is more between 2 and 2.5 billion euros. Now most of these so-called prior actions have to do with the government's commitment to press ahead with reforms like some 12,000 public sector layoffs by January inspectors gave Greece a couple of months extension on this to execute the second phase of these layoffs but we haven't seen much movement in uh, this plan since the extension was given. Greece also has to deliver a viable plan regarding a number of state uh, defense companies, enterprises which the Troika simply want to shut down, liquidate and sell off. Now, Prime Minister Andoni Samaras and his finance minister Yanis Tournaras have insisted that they will not take any kind of additional austerity measures uh, to make up for these emerging shortfalls for 2014. They have hinted, however, that they are looking to cover that 500 million euro fiscal gap with urgent measures affecting Greece's social security funds. And we understand that the relevant minister today will be submitting uh, legislation, urgent legislation in parliament, uh, effectively calling for a slash in pension funds, in pensions actually paid out by what's being called privileged uh, funds. Early retirement also for young moms will be cut, affecting by some accounts as many as 300,000 families. Now that's a far, far cry from what the country's president warned against over the weekend. He said Greeks were at a breaking point, that they should not succumb to the blackmail of creditors. Uh, the problem or the truth, as pundits tell me, however, is not the creditors. They're just doing their jobs. The problem is the government affording greater confusion than clarity to Greeks over the handling of the financial crisis here. That's it from us here today. Join us here again tomorrow.